If you own a handheld PC or a laptop or a mini PC with USB 4 or Rocky-Link, the best way to improve your gaming performance is to add an external GPU to the mix. For a long time, I've been curious about how much extra performance you actually get with every, every different use case. Let me explain. There are four different scenarios for eGPU use. You could connect your device to an eGPU via either USB 4 or Oculink. Now, in each of those cases, you could choose to game either on your internal display or connect an external display. Now, most videos I've seen on this topic only showcase one of those four scenarios, usually USB 4 to an external display. And the creator ends the video with a, if you want me to test other scenarios out, leave a comment thingy that almost never happens. So when I saw this interesting little eGPU from INEO, I decided to, okay, I'm holding it right. I decided to get my hands on it and run these tests myself. So today I'm gonna walk you through what kind of performance you actually get with something like the 7600M XT. So if this is your first time here or in case you just can't remember, my name's Ash, you're watching C4 eTech. And if you find this video useful, drop a like, get subscribed, let's get started. First, let me walk you through this device and it does look cool, doesn't it? Especially if, you, if you're into sci-fi like me. Now, while eGPUs are gonna improve gaming performance, they also add some extra functionality by doubling as a dock of sorts. So if you see here, along with the USB 4 and Oculink ports, you have four display outs, two DisplayPort 2.0s and two HDMI 2.1 ports. But then, it's not just that, you also get a USB 3.2 and a RJ45. There's also an SD card slot hidden to the side underneath this. And to the bottom, twist this open and you have access to an M.2 SSD slot. I like how this is toolless and you can just take it off and put it back on. Now on top, you have this. The buttons here, they let you change the color of the LEDs or turn it on and off. Press that knob you see and you can turn the eGPU on or off. Twisting it lets you choose if you wanna run the card at 100 watts or 120 watts. 100 watts is supposed to be more silent, but honestly, I didn't care much about the fan noise. I got an eGPU because I wanted the performance, so I just set it to 120 watts and forgot about it. Now, before we get to the testing part of this video, here's a little bit of the basics. Now, USB 4 is the most convenient option. It's plug and play, meaning you can just use your laptop or handheld like a switch. You can just talk it whenever you need to. And via one cable, you get to connect to the eGPU, charge your device, and also access the dock, the SSD on the inside, whatever's plugged into the USB port and ethernet and all that. Now with Oculink, you cannot plug and play. You need to shut your device down, turn off the eGPU, connect the Oculink cable, turn the eGPU on, turn your device on, and on top of that, an Oculink only connects to the eGPU, meaning if you wanna access the dock or charge your device, you're still gonna need to plug a USB 4 cable in. By the way, when both cables are connected, the device automatically chooses Oculink, so you don't need to do anything extra there. Uh, now, is the extra bandwidth on offer worth all this hassle? That's what I was very curious to find out. So first, I started with Forza Horizon 5. At the 1080p Extreme preset, at 30 watts on a 8840U, I got 31 FPS. USB 4 via the internal display, it didn't really do much. I thought it would do better, but it was just a 6.5% improvement to 33 FPS. USB 4 to the external display did fare slightly better, still underwhelming, 37 FPS, a 20% boost. Now, this difference between the internal and external is what I was very interested about because uh, when you are outputting stuff on the internal display, this two-way traffic, which is gonna cause a little bit more of a drop. Anyways, with Oculink, we got a huge boost, 67 FPS on the internal display. Given there's a lot of bandwidth, I didn't see a whole lot of difference between playing this on the handheld zone screen and the external screen. Next up, moving on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we got 34 FPS natively with the 8840U. With USB 4 on the internal display, that went up to 70 FPS. 79 when we output to an external display instead. Once again, much better numbers with Oculink, 94 and 95 FPS for the internal and external displays respectively. Before we jump to a benchmark, let's try one more game, Cyberpunk 2077. And these were the results, 28 FPS native, 49 and 61 FPS on internal and external displays respectively via USB 4, and via Oculink, 
we got 83 and 88 FPS for the internal and external displays. Once again, notice how the variance in FPS when running a game on the handheld and the external display is minimal with Oculink. Okay, let's now move on to a benchmark for Mark II. And these are the scores. Oculink does seem to make a very noticeable difference in performance. If performance is important, Oculink seems the way to go, especially if you want to play on that internal display. By the way, if your use case is leaving the eGPU in one place and you don't really plan on carrying it around, then I highly recommend building your own by using an eGPU enclosure and a desktop GPU. That would be a lot cheaper, especially in the future when you're going to be upgrading those. Uh, but if you are planning on carrying them around, that's when eGPUs like this come into play. Like I travel to China a lot and I usually like having this by my bed, so I plug and play at night. Uh, so it makes sense in a use case like that. And anyways, here's a bit of theory. USB 4 maxes out at 40 Gbps. Oculink on the other hand offers 64 Gbps. That's where you see that kind of a difference that we saw. So as of now, it is a toss up between the convenience of USB 4, the plug and play, one cable for everything, uh, versus the much better performance of Oculink. I say as of now, since USB 4.2 Thunderbolt 5 is around the corner and that is expected to do 80 to 120 Gbps via a single cable and that will get us the best of both worlds. So if you can hold off for a bit, you probably should. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Ash out.